Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Okay, if you want to book a personal reading with me, just email me. My email is in the description box down below. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Aquarius. The deck I'm using is Messages of Love, Oracle Cards by All Things Intuitive. Okay, you can find this deck on Etsy. Most of the decks I have is on Etsy. Okay, it's spelled E-T-S-Y. Okay, for anybody that's interested. So let's see what's going on. Ooh. For my collective... Okay, so we have decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. Okay, what else? We have trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. Okay, what else? We have time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. And we have here patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Okay, so let's see what's going on. I'm gonna clarify these. An apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear at the bottom of the deck. I would love to see it. If somebody, oop, if somebody apologized to y'all, please let me know. Okay, because I'm so tired of seeing this in this readings. People want to apologize. What they want, 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 want to do, but is they doing it? So please let me know if somebody apologized to y'all. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. So let's see. Decision. Spirit guides of love and light. Ancestors and masters. We have three of pentacles. So it could be connected to a Capricorn. The three of wands. You could be connected to Aries. You could be seeing three, three, three. What else? We have the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy again. What else? And the Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay. So, I'm seeing here that um, somebody is contemplating on making a decision. Okay. And I feel like it could be distance involved too. I don't know if you guys could be like in a long distance relationship or... It's like you could be deciding where you want to like stay or you could be having some type of job opportunity where you have to move. And it's like somebody here don't want to leave their family. Okay. I'm also seeing here. Yeah, somebody here is, is trying to hold on to you. Okay. I don't know if you could have a business with this person and that could be um, a factor in you trying to make a decision as well because it's like y'all could have a business together and it's like you don't want to up and leave your business but it's like you have to decide about this relationship with this person because I feel like something is getting toxic okay like you're ready to leave something is not serving you anymore okay I feel like you don't have love or feelings for somebody anymore and it's like you're trying to balance out your life right now. And it could be somebody here that's trying to balance something out with you. Okay, because they don't want you to leave. Somebody here could have like took your money or something like that. That y'all had together in a business. So you won't leave them. Somebody here trying to have control over your finances here. And I feel like somebody here just trying to act like they're, they're trying to balance something out with you because y'all have a business together. Because y'all make money together. Okay, I'm also seeing here that, yeah, you're done. There's so much drama here. Like, somebody here is just very chaotic, okay? And it's like, you're tired of that shit, you know? And I feel like you probably thought that you would have never left the situation with this person. But you're seeing, ooh, that you are, like, you know, doing the impossible, basically. And we have the page of swords that just fell. So, somebody here is watching you. Somebody is trying to see what they can do here to, like, make you, like, stay. Like, they're looking into it. They could be asking people random, like, what can I do to make this person stay? Like, should I give them money? Like, 
Yeah, somebody here has a fear of losing you. Somebody here is very codependent on your energy. And I feel like... I feel like you're going to make a decision here to choose yourself, okay? And trust in this decision that you made, okay? Don't be second-guessing yourself, okay? Because I'm seeing the three of wands here that you can be second-guessing yourself, okay? It's like somebody here is trying to stop your, your, stop you from, like, progressing. Somebody here rather see you just, like, stuck with them doing the same shit over and over again, you know? And somebody here is paying very close attention to you. Yeah. Because somebody here could, could feel like you're moving away from them. Like, they feel like you're about to make a decision to leave them behind or something like that. Like, somebody's intuition is on point right now. For sure, for sure. Okay. And I feel like somebody here could be trying to act all nice to you and shit. So, you won't leave. But as soon as you choose to stay, they're going to start by acting just how they was acting before. Okay, clarify trust. We have the Emperor, Aries Energy. What else for trust? Queen of Wands. Why well, I feel like, I don't know why I just got somebody who could be on Google. Um, searching up on how to keep your partner from leaving you. <laughs> like it's that serious to somebody. Hell no. I don't know if I used to Google that shit. Like, what does it mean when <laughs> your boyfriend blocked yours and shit? Like. Nah, I don't give a fuck, but I wouldn't dare do that now. But that's how I used to be. Okay, <laughs> that used to be funny as hell. But um, who else did that? Put it in the comments if you did that before. Okay, but we have trust. So we have the Emperor Queen of Wands with us for trust. Yeah, it's like you're being assertive, okay? You're taking your power back from somebody, and somebody don't like that. Somebody here likes to be in control of you. They like to call the shots here. Okay, what else for trust? And I feel like you're looking good as fuck, okay? You're confident. And I feel like you're being more dominant here. Because I feel like in the past, you probably could have allowed people to walk all over you, say what they want to say to you, do whatever they want to do to you, and you just allowed it. But now you're not allowing that shit. You're speaking up for yourself, okay? And somebody here doesn't like that. And I feel like this person has a big-ass ego, but I feel like you're humble. I feel like you're just confident. Somebody is taking that as, oh, they need to humble you, or you have too much pride or something like that, or you're feeling yourself too much. Like, and, and if I am, bitch, and if I am... What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Just watch me like a fucking dummy. Somebody here just watch you 24-7. They're obsessed with you, okay? And somebody here trying to make you feel guilty for making some type of decision here. Like somebody here trying to play with your intelligence. Yeah, somebody here wants you to need them here. I feel like you're independent here. You don't need this person for shit, okay? And I feel like you left the situation very gracefully, okay? Very elegant, and I feel like you're very mature, okay? You're, you have a thriving business here. You're very ambitious. You're determined, okay? You could be celebrating right now. And somebody here is mad. Yeah, four of cups here because they feel rejected by you. You could be connected to a cancer, Virgo, I'm seeing here. Aries, Pisces. Yeah, you have a lot of wisdom. And I feel like right now you're wealthy. I feel like you you enjoying your freedom right now, okay? Some of you guys could have a garden here. You could eat very, like, healthy Okay, it could be exercising. It's like you're getting back into some type of healthy routine. Because I feel like at first you didn't have that. But when you left this person, you just did a complete 180. Okay? Yeah, and that's somebody here that being nostalgic about you guys. They have regret. Okay? And they feel like this is a missed opportunity with you. Yeah, I feel like you was always the type of person that had good energy. Okay? This person always just had a mean mug on their face. Just mad and just... Ugh. And you were just like, I'm tired of being around this motherfucker. Like, somebody here felt like you was entitled or you had to stay with them while they treat you a certain way. Like, bitch, no, this is not that. Okay? And I, I feel like you had to show this person, like, who the fuck you was. Because I, like, I feel like you forgot who you was dealing with this person. Or I feel like you just was submissive to this person, you know, to make them feel good. You know, to make them feel like a king or something. And it's like somebody here took advantage of that. Like, you were just like, hold on. I only did this to make you feel good. But, bitch, you don't really know me for real, for real. But let me show you. Yeah, and I feel like you're not around this person. I feel like the time apart from this person has brought you a lot of clarity on who this person was and, you know, made you reflect. Because I feel like the time apart, page of wands. Yeah, you see how immature somebody is. Every time I do a reading, my nose want to fucking run. Never fucking fails. Page of pentacles. What else? The time apart, yeah. 
somebody here is not good with managing their money they're not good with communication and it's like i'm also getting here that somebody here is like in the bedroom they only focus on their own needs like somebody here don't focus on pleasuring you like that's crazy that's the time apart yeah you're the fucking emperance i'm the fool yeah I feel like you're optimistic here. You started a new beginning here. You're free spirited. And I feel like you're having fun. You're enjoying your time. Like you're realizing here, like somebody here was just dimming your light. Like somebody here was just a Debbie Downer. You know, they never want to have fun and enjoy themselves. This person was just probably just always fucking serious. They always took offense to shit. It's like you can't even crack a joke to this person without them getting defensive and wanting to start arguing and shit. Okay. This person didn't show you no affection. And I'm also seeing this, this type of person where it's like they mess with younger females here because they, they they can have control over younger females. Just this person mindset. Somebody is a pedophile. Okay. And that this person is a father, they do not take care of their kids at all. But yeah, I feel like this time apart helped you grow, okay? And I feel like you're a loving person, okay? You can be feeling your stuff right now. You're beautiful, okay? You, you feel fulfilled. You feel empowered right now, okay? And nobody can take you off your throne here, period. Okay. Because I feel like when you took time apart from this person, y'all, you probably were just taking a break. Like, you probably was like, you know, I'm going to just see how it is, me being away from you, you know? And then it's like, you were just like, yeah, I'm going to just stay away. <laughs> I'm going to just stay away. You could have took like a mini break or vacation for yourself. We have patience here. Clarify patience, everything will flow in divine timing. Ace of Wands, what else? And we have the King of Cups here. What else? The Patience. Okay, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so you're being patient right now. You know, you know somebody's gonna come in and love you. Okay, you have everything that a person will want in a partner. Okay, you have the whole package. You, you all in the bag of chips, okay? you're that bitch period and i feel like right now you could be just focused on your passions okay it could be um expressing your creativity at this point you could be starting a new project here okay somebody here is looking at you and you turn this person on king of cups is coming through okay this person is in touch with their emotions they're mature they're going to be affectionate and devoted towards you okay this person they're wise and they're calm like this is not the first type of person they yell and shout and shit like that like you know this could be a scorpio libra coming in towards you Towards you, but it could be any sign. Nine of Wands. Clarify the patience. Yeah, I feel like as you've been celibate, this person's coming towards you. Y'all about to have some good ass sex. Okay, some of y'all is very fertile right now. Okay, you could be praying with new ideas, so be careful because you know it could go down in the in the in the basement. Friday the 13th. Guess who's playing Jason? Okay, I don't even know if that's how the Lakers go, but that's what I'm saying. Ugh. Yeah, I know it's running. I'm sorry. I have this little cold, but I'm trying to hurry up and catch it before it get, you know, too big. Because if I get a sick, I'm not going to be able to do readings happen, doing my readings like that. Okay, but, um, yeah, I feel like there's somebody here that wants to have a conversation with you. Okay, somebody here misses you. They miss how you pleasure them. Somebody here could be masturbating to you or your pictures or something like that. Okay. I feel like this is an ex, a new person I'm getting here. There's somebody here, which could be your ex. Okay. This person wants to come in and have sex with you. That's it. Okay. King of Cups here. I feel like this person, they don't, have, they don't know how to express themselves. They probably could express themselves through sex or something like that. But that's not enough for you. Like, you know, you you like to hear it, too. You like to be shown about actions and shit. And this person, your ex, don't do that. Okay? They keep that shit in. But I feel like you're not even focused on this person. I feel like a new person is coming towards you. Okay? And you're going to know this is your person. It's the swords here. Okay? Yeah, you're going to get clarity that this is a new person. And it's going to be very successful here. And I feel like you're going to be able to trust this person. Okay? Yeah, somebody here is ready to show you. <laughs> They're ready to show you something. Because I feel like this person that you was having sex with, this person just didn't, didn't know what to do. Like, somebody here was just not doing what they needed to do. 
you know, now you're gonna have somebody here to come in towards you and they're gonna know your body, everything. Like, it's just gonna be amazing. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Yes, yeah, like when somebody see you in a new connection here, that's when they're going to want to try to come in towards you. They're going to make stuff of an impulsive decision here and try to come in towards you and think they're going to succeed at something. Think they're going to be victorious at something here. Okay, but it's like you don't want to... <laughs> Go ahead, clarify the Ace of Swords. You're done with this person. Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, like somebody here can't move on from you. Okay. They don't want to release you here. This person really wants to argue with you. They they want to argue with you because they feel like you were supposed to be with them. Like somebody here thought that you was taking a break, or that's what you could have told this person. Like you know, like I'm, I just need some time to myself. And this person thought that she was gonna come back, but you end up getting with somebody else. You know, and they they feel pissed off. This person they're not trying to heal. Okay, somebody here is just lost. Yeah, somebody here don't want to move forward from you. Mm-hmm. They don't. But I feel like you're going to tell this person, like, hey, you know, get the stepping. Yeah, this is because of the bottom of the deck. Somebody here wants to return to you. They want to reconcile with you. They miss you. But I feel like, you know, this person is just not it. Like, you know, y'all don't connect. What is, let's see, what are some hidden truth messages that this person wants to tell Okay, it's spirit guys, eleven light, ancestors to the masters. My angels are repairing light. So we have here, I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, I feel like this person is gonna be waiting forever because you don't want their ass. It's time for me to heal now. I feel like that's what you could be telling this person. Or this person knows that they need to heal, you know. But uh I hide behind material things. Yeah, so this person could have been very materialistic here. What else? I feel like this person also has had you part of a third party situation here. It's like they were trying to break on a situation with somebody else here. And, you know, they was being sneaky about it, you know? And you end up finding that shit out. What else? We have, I feel you leave me behind. Yeah, you did leave this person behind. We both know I, I'm not the one for you. Yeah, like, let's be for real. Uh, my life is not together as it seems. Yes, my hair needs to get that shit together. And I feel like you got your shit together, you know? We will be together again. This person, they have hope that y'all gonna be together again. I left when I saw you with someone. You speak to me through music. I am not available. It was my fault, but I blame you. I left you before you could leave me. Yeah, this person has something going on already. Okay, they I don't know if they had some loose ends here that they still was dealing with. Okay, but they tell me I left when I I left when I saw you with someone. So I don't know if you was dealing with somebody here, or they could have thought that you was dealing with somebody here, but you wasn't. I feel like it was somebody here at your job here that liked you or that you was dealing with or something like that. I feel like you was honest with this person, though. You know, like, about who you was dealing with or talking to or shit like that. And they took it as, oh, like, you're still not over that person, you know. But you was. You were just letting them know because that's your party. You put that your party know shit like that. I feel like you probably was still dealing with somebody here. Okay, because y'all could have had a business together and you was trying to figure out, you know, the business aspects of it, like how it's going to separate the finances and shit from a business and somebody thought that you were still dealing with somebody here on the low. I don't know, but I hope this video gave guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.